Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel where we love to talk about movies. Welcome especially if you're new. If you enjoy talking about movies and staying up to speed on what's in theaters and what's worth checking out, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a review. Alright, with that we're going to get into today's video, which is actually the Movies Monthly, that's a tier list ranking of all the movies that I saw in theaters for a given month. We're actually doing November uh, now, so there are a lot of good movies that came out during the month of November, but I didn't have time to film this at the beginning of December, so I yeah, figured I wanted to still get around to it just because it was a really good month overall. So with that, we'll dive on in, and first up we have The Banshees of Inisharan. And this is a movie that I knew absolutely nothing about going in. I really like going into movies as blind as possible these days. I think if you're, like, given that I basically see everything that's coming out, I don't check out the trailers to see if it's something that I'm interested in. And this was just a movie that I would have never have, like, thought of its plot necessarily. So it was... Yeah, it was just a really good film to see. It was a great experience. It was both very sad and very funny and kind of changes tones between those two throughout the entire film, which I thought was really interesting. But this was a great film. I thought the actors did a great job and it's one that I, I definitely recommend and think is worth checking out. Next up we have Armageddon Time. This was another uh, movie that I didn't know much about. I think I saw a trailer for it um, in front of movies but I didn't like actively look one up and here again I think it tells a, a really good story and I think it's really well acted and especially with the child actor that they got that's what really brings it home so kind of bundling that all together I thought this was another great film not maybe as great as Banshees of Inisharan but it was still I thought one that I think it like it's one I would recommend and I think is, is definitely worth checking out Next up we have Decision to Leave. This is a Korean film and I believe South Korea, um, although I, I could be wrong on that. But this was, this is another one. Yeah, I didn't know anything going into it. And I don't know, this movie just didn't really work for me. I know I've seen a lot of people say that they really liked, really liked it, but it was, I don't know, it was just kind of a, a different film and the I get how that it being different would work for some people but it didn't really work for me it felt really really long um to the point where I'm like did, did this was this actually three hours or was it only a two-hour movie so I don't know I wasn't all that entertained there were some interesting things that it did but I think this one just goes in the the C category for me I thought it was fine um I get why some people like it but it didn't really work for me Black Panther Wakanda Forever. This one, I think I was pretty harsh in my... Well, I didn't get into the things I didn't like about the film in my review for it, but I did give it a C initially out of the theater, and that's because there were some very... There were, there were some things that the movie did that I just didn't really care for uh, going through it. I didn't like that they gave everybody an Iron Man suit. I... There, for some things, I just had to kind of suspend belief. I didn't really care for the villain all that much. He, it seemed like they were building him up to be kind of like an understandable villain, and then he just takes a turn that was. It felt like he needed to turn into a villain for the sake of the movie to have a villain, and just kind of things like that. I thought the Ross character was completely un, not needed in this film, and just things like that. And not that he was done poorly, but it's for a longer running film. It was I don't know. It it just didn't. Uh, there were, there were a lot of nitpicks that I had, and I'm a huge Marvel fan, so the nitpicks are even, like, I'm more inclined to have nitpicks because I love the MCU so much. But I think when I gave it a C, it was kind of weighed down by those sort of things where I felt like I couldn't say it was a good movie. But it does some things really, really well, and I think it was, it was the fact that I saw some things done so well that it was like, if they had, if they had, done this across the board it would be a great movie it'd be in that a category but the fact that they didn't that they fell kind of short from that i think i overreacted a bit in putting it in the c category so this is the one that i give a b i think it does a lot of things well it does some things not so well i think it's worth checking out but it's definitely not a must see but it was i would say it was it was entertaining enough even though i had my nitpicks with it uh yeah let's see up next we have after sun this was this was just a really i thought this was a really good movie it's not really about much of anything you're just kind of along for the experience and to watch a couple characters 
on vacation for like it's a, a father and a daughter and just see them on vacation and that's all it really is which doesn't sound all that appealing but i just really enjoyed it i loved being in the theater and sitting through this movie and being with these characters um yeah not much more to to say outside of that uh, but yeah, this is one that I, I really liked. I'd recommend it, I, and that goes in the A category. Uh, up next, we have The Menu. This was this is a dark comedy that focuses on food, and it's directed, I believe, by either the creator or uh, main director on the show Succession. So it has a very clean look to how it's filmed. And I really like the characters. I like the premise. I like the story. And yeah, overall, I thought this was just a great film. I like it when we can get a dark comedy that actually works. So this is one that I, I definitely recommend. Um, maybe not if you're not into dark comedies, uh, but yeah, that would be the only only exception. Uh, up next, we have She Said. There have been a few movies like this where it's going into kind of the, the scandals that, yeah, like sexual harassment scandals and stuff like that. And sometimes, I think the, the subject matter is very important, and that kind of elevates it in and of itself, but this one was definitely one that on top of that I thought it was executed very well and made into a very interesting and engaging movie, and it's one that I, I definitely recommend and give a letter grade of an A to. Up next we have Triangle of Sadness. This was an interesting film. I think it's it's kind of all over the place. I think the, the first couple acts are really good and very interesting. And then the third act, while interesting, kind of dragged a bit for me. So I think it's, it's worth checking out if you're looking for something to see. But I give this one a B just because the, the third act did feel a little long for me. Uh, the the Fablemans. This was I thought this was a great film. I really love film. So when you have a film that kind of captures love of film, and it's done well, like this one, I think it's really good. I liked kind of the exploration of science versus art within the family and things like that. So this is one that I think is is definitely worth checking out. Maybe not one of Spielberg's best films, but I thought it was great, and I would I recommend it for any fans of film. Shadow and Bones, or Shadow and All, excuse me, Shadow and Bone is something else. That's a Netflix show. Shadow and All, or Bones and All, that's the name. Uh, sorry about that. This was, this was very, I knew absolutely nothing about this film, and it completely shocked me within the first five minutes. That was definitely an experience. I think it's really well acted, and it's an interesting film. I think I initially gave it an A uh, coming out of the gate, but I, I land on a B. It's one that I don't think you need to see. I wouldn't go out of my way to recommend, but I think it's worth checking out if you're looking for something. Then we have Glass Onion. This I was very much looking forward to, and it was entertaining enough, but I thought that it fell very short of the mark that it could have hit, uh, especially being the follow-up to Knives Out, which is a movie that I absolutely loved. I think I'd give Knives Out a letter grade of an A. But, I don't know, I felt like Glass Onion, they were trying to be too clever, and they thought they were being more clever than they were, and they were just throwing twists at you for the sake of throwing twists at you, without actually giving you the chance to, uh, you know, predict them, and that sort of a thing. And then the only thing that you could kind of predict, which would be the who the, the killer was, I found out within five minutes, or not five minutes, five seconds of the murder itself, I my forefront theory ended up being correct, so... It was certainly, it was entertaining enough, but I, since it fell short of what I think it should have been, uh, which is very subjective, I know a lot of people love this film, I, I give it a C, I think it's fine, it's not one that I would recommend uh, off the top of my head. And then lastly, we have Devotion. This movie is a war movie, and it's... It's not a super epic war movie, and I thought that was kind of interesting. Like, you don't need something to be grand in scale. Uh, you can just focus on the characters and what they went through, and I thought this does a really good job of that. The music's really good. Overall, it was it was a solid film. It didn't do anything too outsta uh, like outstanding to impress me, uh, so I give it a letter grade of a B. If you're looking for something to watch, I, I think it's worth checking out, but I don't think you should go out of your way necessarily to see it, so... Uh, yeah, that wraps up. Those are all the films that I saw in November. Uh, yeah, overall, a really good month. Like, an average of basically a high B is really good, in my opinion. We have a lot of A's and a lot of B's. You know, it's award season, so that's kind of what you expect at the end of the year. And, yeah, I liked a lot of the stuff that was released. So, 
if you if any of these movies stood out to you or uh, you know i missed a movie that you recommend definitely leave a comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts but with that thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video